Welcome everyone to another installment of What or Who is Better. And this, I gave this some thinking, and oh boy. This is going to be one that I think you guys are going to love debating. You guys are going to love saying which was better or not. But we're going to look at something that we all grew up on. What I'm talking about is Saturday mornings. And more specifically, the 80s, the Saturday mornings of the 80s versus the Saturday mornings of the 90s. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. And, all right. Speaking as someone that basically grew up in both decades, and saw Saturday mornings from all fronts. Saw all the shows and all the networks in their Saturday morning lives from all fronts. Let me just say that one probably might look better than the other, but then the other might look stronger in some ways and better as well. But I hate to say it, but it's kind of hard to decide when you compare the two. But let's try to compare them. Let's see what you guys think. Now, for anybody that grew up in the 90s, basically was born probably in 89 or 90 and grew up throughout that whole decade, you're probably going to say that the Saturday mornings of the 1990s were better. You're probably going to say the Saturday mornings of the 1990s were better. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You had four networks showing Saturday morning stuff. You had ABC, which had been doing it for decades. CBS, same thing. Been doing it for decades. You had Fox that just came into the Saturday morning uh, conversation around the early, very early 90s. And you had the WB, which came in around the very early 90s as well, basically around 93, 90, 93, 92. So, basically, you had two, you had four Saturday morning networks back then. And they had some great lineups. Don't make no mistake about that. But so did the 1980s. And speaking of someone that grew up in the 80s, you had four networks there too. Now I know you're thinking, well, what do you mean four networks in? Real simple. You had the global networks, you had the you had the nationally televised networks of ABC, CBS, and NBC, as well as you had a syndication block as well. That's right. When I grew up, the syndicated Saturday morning block was KBHK. It was KBHK. That's what it was. KBHK 44. At times you had Channel 2, if you will. Things like that. And even Channel 36 and Channel 20. You had all these syndicated stations. But the primary ones were 44, ABC, NBC, and CBS. Those were the primary ones. So, how do they stack up to, against each other? The 80 lineups and the 90s lineups. Well, let's take a look at it this way. The 80s, no doubt about it, had some very unusual shows. Some were good, some were different. And some succeeded, some didn't. Uh, but they had some very interesting shows, there's no doubt about it. In matter of fact, the 1980s, Saturday morning, mostly the, Hanna, mostly the shows created by Hanna Barbera in Filmation dominated Saturday mornings. There's no doubt about that. But the one thing about the 1980s, which I think some people may argue, may not argue, is that those Saturday mornings at times just had cartoons that were exclusive to Saturday mornings. That's right. They were exclusive to NBC. They were exclusive to CBS. They were exclusive to ABC. And you could only see them on Saturday mornings. For example, NBC had a great lineup for a while. They had the Gummy Bears. Yeah, you could see them in syndication. They were one of the exceptions. But you also had... 
the Smurfs. Yeah, you can see them in syndication too, but that was another exception. But then you had other shows. You had, uh, you had the Snorks. You had Kissy. I can't believe I'm going to say it. You had Kissy Park on there. You know, you had Alvin the Chipmunks. You had Simon's in syndication too, but when they first began, they were NBC mostly. Uh, you had Mr. T. You know, and the, and the list could go on for what NBC had in the years afterwards. Spider-Man and his amazing friends. What more can you say about that? Incredible Hulk. I mean, again, the list just goes on and on. And then CBS, they had a great lineup too. Berestein Bears, the original 1980s cartoon. Muppet Babies. Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Space Cadets, so something like that. Muppet Babies and Monsters. And again, the list just goes on. They even at times had Bugs Bunny and Bugs Bunny shows and stuff. So what more can you ask for there? ABC. Enough said. ABC had a great lineup. I can't remember much, but they had a great lineup too. They had Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. What else did they have? I can't, I can't remember what ABC used to have. It's been such a long time, but they had an impressive lineup too. Uh, the real Ghostbusters, there's one. Um, gotta think, what else was there? Winnie the Pooh. I think DuckTales when they first started out. Uh, and a few others, as far as I know. They even got gummy bears later on. But again, they had an impressive lineup as well. And then you take a look at syndicated stations like KBHK. They had Transformers on the weekends, the newer, the newer episodes. They had Gem. You know, they had, they had Mask. They had Inhumanoids when it was being broadcasted. I mean, they had an impressive lineup too. So you could state that the lineups that those had were impressive. No doubt about it. It's like you look at it now and you think today's Saturday morning lineup couldn't even stand up to it. But then you take a look at the 1990s and you try to compare it to that. The 1990s, when it first started, had an impressive lineup too. There's no doubt about it. However, in the 1990s, one network would start to wander away from Saturday mornings. And that was NBC. And it was around 1991 when we would see, last see any evidence of Saturday morning cartoons off NBC. Because the only ones really known for, if I remember of any, you had Pro Stars, Wish Kid, uh, Smurfs was still going strong, and you had Yo Yogi. And those were the only ones left. And then after that, pff, all you had was TNBC for teenagers. They went to Saturday morning line. But ABC and CBS still kept the ground. CBS was going strong when they obtained Ninja Turtles and put the exclusive new seasons, put the new seasons exclusively on their network. ABC was going strong, but they still had a great lineup. They had, again, they had obtained the gummy bears around the 1990 range, along with Winnie the Pooh. They still had Bugs Bunny and Tweed, and a few other things. Later on, they would gain, they would gain, gain some ground. They would have Crow. They would have, believe it or not, Free Willy. They would have uh, probably one of the most well-known out of it, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sat A.M. Reboot. Wildcat, Wild West Cowboys and Moon Mesa. And even when the Disney thing started to take over, started to take, up, take effect, even before that, 1991, you had, you had Darkwing Duck on ABC. You had Goof Troop on ABC. And these were exclusive episodes for the networks. CBS, same thing. They, had, they were part of the Disney situation as well. They had Raw Tunage. They had Little Mermaid. They had Aladdin. They had Masupalami. You know, you name it, they had it. So the lineups were still going strong. And then you had Fox Kids, the Fox Network, enter the lineup with Fox Kids. You had them enter with the Fox Kids lineup. And believe me when I say this, the Fox Kids lineup was impressive when it first came out. You mean, you had Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. You had X-Men. X-Men, when it began. What more?
what can be said about that? And then later on, they would obtain the Power Rangers for many years. They would get the rights to do the, power, the broadcast of Power Rangers. What more has to be said? They would do Spider-Man later on. Silver Surfer. I mean, what more do you have to say? They had an impressive lineup. And then, of course, the WB comes along about a year, year or so later, and they give you an impressive lineup as well. They, they, they give you Saturday morning exclusive episodes of Tiny Toons, Animaniacs, Freakazoid, Batman, Batman. They, they give you Batman, the animated series, exclusive episodes for Saturday mornings. Superman, the same thing. They would give you the new adventures of Batman. They give you the new adventures of Superman. You, I mean, the lineup was impressive. They give you Freakazoid, Peeking the Brain. You name it, they had an impressive lineup. There's no doubt about it. And you still had a little bit of your syndication thing going, especially with the Marvel action hours on the weekend mornings with Iron Man, Hulk, Fantastic Four. You still had those lineups there. You had Transformers Generation 2, which are basically in CGI enhanced versions of the original episodes. You had all this. You had all this. And then as time went on, Saturday mornings, ABC and CBS would still continue, would still, would, would still try to lead the way. I mean, Fox and WB were still doing great. They had all new series coming out. Some were good, some were not so good. You had Pokemon, which was a big hit for the WB when it came. You know, but again, you had hits and misses when it came for the WB and Fox Kids because they were new to the lineup. They were new to these Saturday morning trend. And, C and CBS and ABC were still trying to lead the way, be innovative. ABC, in the mid-90s, whether we like it or not, started doing more exclusive Saturday morning stuff with, with, with Disney. They did shows like, hard to believe, they did shows like 101 Dalmatians, Lloyd in Space, Recess, Hercules, the animated series, Mighty Ducks, Gargoyles, the Goliath Chronicles. They even brought back Darkwing Duck. They even brought back DuckTales, temporarily, to be part of the new one Saturday morning lineup. They were still trying to be innovative and strong, as well as continue the legacy of Disney Afternoon. CBS, they were still trying to be a strong presence as well. They created what was known as the Action Hour. They still had the regular shows, O's and everything, but then they tried to create the Action Hour. You know, where you had an hour and a half or two hours worth of action-related shows. You had the newly revamped Red Sky episodes of the Ninja Turtles. You had Skeleton Warriors. You had Wildcats. All on there. All present for the action zone. I mean, heck, you take a look at some of the Ninja Turtle DVDs releasing recently of the last three seasons... And sometimes before an episode, you have, you have that bumper that has the announcer saying, entering the action zone, accessing, or scanning for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, access now. You still have that on those DVDs. So, they were still trying to lead the way. And even when it was just like Ninja Turtles and Garfield, Garfield, for goodness sakes, was a very popular show for them. Garfield and Friends. And it lasted a long time, from 89 to about 97. And they were still continuing to lead the way. They were still trying to innovate. But sooner or later, yes, I admit, WB and Fox Kids, they started dominating with their shows, with their Saturday morning exclusive episodes of their programming. I mean, heck, it was on Saturday morning that they debuted the world's finest movie featuring, featuring a team up between Superman and Batman. I mean, Batman Beyond debuted on Saturday mornings. For goodness sakes. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, folks, that they tried. I mean, Fox even obtained Beast Machines, the continuation of Beast Wars. As well as Robots in Disguise. So, they still have things, something going. They still have a lot going for them. So the truth of the matter is this. When you look at both the 90s and the 80s, it's hard to compare them. Because like I said, I mentioned the 80s stuff. 
I mean, you had T, you had Dragon's Lair, you had shows like that, you had, heck, you had the droids, you had the Ewoks. I mean, the list goes on and on. Ulysses 331, I mean, the list just goes on and on of shows that you had. So it's hard to do a comparison. It's hard to decide which was better. But I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Which lineup do you think which better? Which decade do you think had the better Saturday morning lineups? Do you think the 80s did, or was it the 90s? Because when you compare both decades to now, you'll have to admit, those decades were far better than what you're seeing now. I mean, take a look at the ABC lineup. Presently, Linton's Adventures, Linton's Adventures block? Are you serious? The only salvageable thing going is the Vortex. But let me know what you guys think down below. Video responses are greatly appreciated. Let me know what you think down below. What do you think? Which decade do you think was better? Do you think the 90s had a better Saturday morning lineup? Lineups? Or do you think the 80s did? Let me know down below. Comments and video responses are very much welcomed. God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you all later.